learning new details about the sudden death of Radley Center Chairman Mark Murata. The medical examiner says the 52-year-old lawyer and Marquette basketball star died of a brain aneurysm. He was found in his car with the ignition running in his health club parking lot yesterday. Murata was one of Milwaukee's most high-profile civic leaders, and as 12 News' Kent Wainscott reports, it will be difficult to replace him. Milwaukeeans first heard of Mark Murata as a star player on the Marquette basketball teams of the early 80s. But before long, he was making his mark off the court as a lawyer, a state cabinet secretary, and a key player in countless major initiatives. He was such an important person in so many you know, projects over the past several decades here in Milwaukee. Marquette University President Mike Lovell knew Murata as a friend and as someone deeply involved in many of Milwaukee's most high profile organizations. You think about the boards that he served on, whether it be Summerfest or the Boys and Girls Club, the BMO Harris Bradley Center, you know, those are all very, very important entities uh, within Milwaukee and Wisconsin that he served tirelessly on you know, to make Milwaukee a better place. As Bradley Center Chairman, Murata had been instrumental in helping to put the pieces in place for a new Milwaukee Bucks arena. Mark was a mentor, was a partner, a collaborator. Um, we're all deeply sad, and this was just shocking. Shocking was also the word that Bradley Center President Steve Costello used. He says trying to fill Murata's shoes will be a challenge for everyone he worked with. It really is a tremendous loss because at, at its root, uh, Mark is someone who really was every day, in addition to his professional career, was, was working to try and make Milwaukee a better place for all the people here. The impact that Mark made on the state of Wisconsin in Milwaukee was huge. And to replace him is going to be very, very difficult. You know, we all are feeling the loss, I think, over time. You know, we will gradually be able to replace some of the things that he did, but you can't replace a Mark Murata. At the time of his death, Murata had actually been expected to attend the event at the Bradley Center rolling out the images of the proposed new Bucks Arena. Now we're told the Bradley Center board will meet in the next few days to begin the process of finding a successor as chairman. Public visitation for Murata will take place at 11 a.m. Monday at Jesu Church on the Marquette campus with a funeral mass to follow at 2 p.m.